Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve power of a product rule. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when solving for power of a product rule. The first thing we're going to do is distribute the exponent on the outside of the parentheses to everything inside of the parentheses. Just like when you're using the distributive property, when you're working with exponents, if you have an exponent on the outside, you have to take this and distribute it to everything on the inside of the parentheses. Once the exponent has been distributed, you multiply it by the other exponents. This goes back to the power of a power rule. When you had to raise a power to a power, that means to multiply. So that rule still applies for power of a product, except you distribute to everything inside of the parentheses, and then you multiply the exponents. To the m times y to the m raised to the n power is equal to x to the m times n times y to the m times n. So what that means is you will keep the bases the same. You can see x here and y here. So those bases stay the same. And then you can see you will multiply the exponent. So whatever m is gets multiplied times whatever n is for all bases inside of the parentheses. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. All right, let's get to work and get started on our first practice problem on power of a product rule. This problem gives us the quantity 3 times 10 raised to the second power. Our bases in this problem are 3 and 10, and the exponent on the outside of the parentheses is 2. We have to take this exponent and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses. When we do that, we're going to distribute the 2 to the base of 3 and the 2 to the base of 10. In the case of these bases, their exponent is 1. So we're going to say 3 to the first power times our exponent of 2 times the other base of 10 to the first power times the exponent of 2. So you can see we took that 2 and we distributed it to both bases. After you do this, you can simplify. So 3 to the 1 times 2, so 1 times 2 is 2, is multiplied by 10 to the first power times 2, so 1 times 2 is also 2. So the solution to this problem is 3 squared times 10 squared. And remember, for exponential terms, you can only combine them if they have the same base. In this case, the base of 3 and the base of 10 are different, so you cannot multiply these any further. And this is going to be the most simplified version of this problem. Moving on to the second practice problem, this problem gives us the quantity 8 squared times 3 to the 7th raised to the 5th power. And we're going to take this exponent on the outside, and it's going to get distributed to everything inside of the parentheses. So it's going to get distributed to the x squared term and the 3 to the 7th term. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite our base of 8 squared. Now it's being multiplied to the exponent of 5 because the exponent of 5 is being distributed. That's going to be multiplied to our other base of 3, and its exponent of 7 has to be multiplied by the number 5 because that's the exponent that's getting distributed to everything inside of the parentheses. Now we're going to go ahead and simplify 8 to the 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10, so it's 8 to the 10th power. And that's going to be multiplied times 3 to the 7 times 5 power, which is going to be 35. So our solution is 8 to the 10th times 3 to the 35th power because these bases are different and they're not like terms. We cannot combine this any further, which means this is the most simplified version. And finally, our last practice problem on power of a product rule gives us x to the 3rd times y to the 4th in quantity raised to the exponent of 5. Now, just because our bases are variables does not mean we change the rule. The rule is going to stay the same. So we're going to take this exponent of 5, and it's going to be distributed to everything inside of the parentheses. So x to the third power is our first exponential term. It's being multiplied times 5. And then y to the fourth power is our second exponential term. This 4 is also being multiplied times 5. So now we're going to simplify our first exponential term of x to the 3 times 5. Well, that's 15. That's going to be multiplied times y to the 4 times 5, 
Well, that's 20. So our solution is x to the 15th times y to the 20th because again, x and y are, diff are different bases, which means you cannot combine this any further. And if you want to do some more practice on power of a product rule, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to get taken to a free worksheet download and a free practice quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!